Hey, what's up? This is Zach with Root and & Branch. And in this short video, we're going to tackle a really common SEO question. This one is common to WordPress and Yoast, but honestly, whether you're running Squarespace or Shopify or Wix, um, this question also applies. And the question is, is it bad for SEO to change the slug or permalink or URL of a page? All synonyms there. If you have a WordPress site and you have Yoast, you've probably been there. You've got your little titles and meta, meta box here in your Yoast SEO. You've got your focus key phrase that you want to optimize for and you just want to turn that stoplight and that little face green. So one of the ways that Yoast recommends is like, hey, make sure you've got that keyword in your URL. Um, and sometimes after a page has been published, you might feel prompted to go ahead and just change that URL to try to optimize for that. But is that bad for SEO? The answer, in general, yes, it's bad. Nah, it's a, pretty much an SEO no-no. Ah, so before we totally freak out, we can fix it. Let's understand why it's bad and then how we can fix it. So why is it bad? Well, changing the slug, and again, permalink, URL, these are all synonyms. So changing the slug changes the actual URL of the page, which is what we want it to do, but it's not seamless. There are There's some collateral damage. That's because the prior URL of the page was most likely already indexed by Google and other search engine crawlers. This does not apply, by the way, if you changed a page or a post that had not been published. In that case, change away. But once it's been published, it's likely been indexed, and Googlebot has a record of it. So when you change the URL of a published page, that live page that had existed before, that's gone. And the new live page is the new URL. So in the eyes of search engines, the page that had lived at the old URL has just magically gone missing. Yeah, missing. What do you mean missing? Well, Google had previously crawled the page at the old URL. That old URL was what got entered into the Google index. That's what was eligible to show up on the SERP, the search engine results page. So when Googlebot comes back, and Googlebot's crawling sites every day. So when Googlebot comes back around to the page at the old URL, it can't find it. And that's because in the eyes of Google, you deleted that old page and you created a new one when you changed the URL. So that is a big bummer. So Googlebot's all confused. What happened? So what happens is you'll likely now have a 404 page, that's the page status code that means page not found, uh, on the old page. And also any link equity, so any, any links that that old page had received in the past, really great for SEO. That helps build up the SEO ranking potential of a site over time. But now with this new page, that link equity doesn't go anywhere. So all those beautiful links that are helping for SEO on that old page, we just unfortunately would lose them. But how can we fix it? And the good news is there is a fix. It's something called a 301 redirect. A 301 redirect is a directive for search engines to redirect a prior URL to a new one. This will not only tell search engines, it will also help human users, anybody who had been trying to go to the old URL, they'll actually end up on the new one as well. Looks kind of like this, page A, in this case, kind of our old page, page B being our new page, we want to take that old URL and redirect it to the new one. Example, so let's say we change the URL of a page on the root and branch site, and by the way, if you're into this kind of stuff, SEO, Google Analytics, Google Ads, please um, feel free to subscribe, generally a couple new videos, uh, at least once a month, generally actually once a week, and uh, yeah. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. But if we wanted to take this page ex exploring SEO versus local SEO, and we actually wanted to target the keyword national SEO versus local SEO, which is a variant we can rank for better on that page, what would that look like if we wanted to do that? By the way, this is not recommended. Not recommended to do, but it's an example. So the new URL might be rootandbranchgroup.com slash national dash SEO versus local SEO. 
And anybody who's been in Yoast, you know the process of changing the slug is really simple. You just type it in there, which would have created all those problems we just went through. So to then fix the problems that I would have just created, we'd implement a 301 redirect so that the old URL, rootandbranchgroup.com slash SEO versus local SEO is now redirected to the new URL at root and branch group national SEO versus local SEO. Just like that. All the link equity is passed along. The, the experience for both users and search engines is seamless. Problem solved. So three final thoughts here. Implementing a 301 redirect depends on your CMS, your content management system. So if it's a WordPress site, you most likely use a plugin to do it. If it's Squarespace, you can actually do it uh, kind of built into the back end of the site. Same thing on Shopify. I'll put some links in the descriptions to how you might be able to do that, but it's important to know that way you actually implement that will be different. There are downsides to redirects as well. You don't want to just go crazy redirecting everything. That can eventually lead to things called redirect chains or even redirect loops. Um, so that's not, that's not great. So we want to use these sparingly, which leads to this final thought, which is in general, just don't change the URLs of a page after it's been published. If it's a very special circumstance, like if you have some like really, really, really long and ugly and not user friendly URLs on important pages, that would be a case to consider a redirect. But in general, if it's something's been published and indexed, my recommendation here is just leave the URL alone. Don't even deal with changing it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.